Hello, Bob from Shocker Hitch. So you just received your new air hitch. A couple of details we should go over, how to install it. Some of the things that we need to look for. Uh, some vehicles have a flat bottom on their receiver, others don't. In your instructions, it'll tell you whether or not your vehicle will need this little spacer. It comes in the kit, simple installation, comes even with a wrench to put it in. It's that easy. Next, make sure the air is out of the bag. Compress the bag, release the, uh, the air valve, push down on the bag. That'll give you plenty of room here to install your hitch. So, we're ready for the install. Simple matter, you shove it in like you always do. Line up the pinhole, install the pin, the safety clip. One of the things I'd like to point out, there's a little top bolt up here. That's a travel limiter. It has a series of bump cushions on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to air it up until it just touches this forward bump cushion. Do not tighten this bolt. That is your travel limiter. It's made to be loose. It's preset at the factory. You don't need to get the wrenches out. going to air up the hitch using a simple little procedure, uh, little remote air compressors. These things are awfully handy, cheap. So we're ready to air this up. You'll see the motion going here, starting to rise. As soon as we touch this upper bushing, that's it. I usually like to give it a little extra because you're going to lose some air when you take your compressor off. That's it, we've just aired up a hitch. Smoother, safer towing, shockerhitch.com.